So I've got a 2017 Ford Escape and the customer says my radio works fine, my maps work fine, everything seems to turn on and work fine, all my screen selections, everything on the radio works fine. But what doesn't work fine is I get no sound out of anything. I can connect my phone, I don't get no sound. I can The stations are playing, I can turn it all the way up, I get no sound. So what I did is we had a trade-in vehicle here with the same style module and without programming it, I went out there and literally here this top part right here that goes over the top it literally just unclips and pops right up and you undo a connector or you can leave it connected like me and slide it off to the side like this and then when you get to this, this plastic face here there's two screws one sits here and one sits here you just pop those two seven mils out unhook this and it's so light, you just can kind of lay it off to the side here. Take the four screws out of your APIM, slide it for your front control interface module in your APIM, and just kind of lean it forward here. Put like a cloth underneath it so you don't scratch up the screen. And then you can pop your audio control module right out of there and put your new one in. But when you get no sound out of anything, or you do the speaker walk around test, something like that, and you don't hear no sound coming out of it, not every time, but the majority of the time, it's that audio control module is going bad. So I just wanted to share that with some of you guys. If you if you have this issue, you're going to have to get it into the dealer or somebody with a computer that can uh, do a programmable module install on that audio control module, and it's going to need one. And these range anywhere from you know six hundred to a thousand dollars for an audio control module, and then they're going to charge you about an hour, hour and a half to install and program. So that's the issue with no sound coming out of the speakers on most of the sync systems that are between, I would say, like 14 and like 2018, somewhere in there, that audio control module. And even some of the new ones that the audio control module up to like the beginning to mid, you know, 2019, that's the issue. That thing needs to be replaced. I mean, they go bad. Unfortunately, these electronics and these newer vehicles, like all these manufacturers, they're not very good the last chevy i owned was the same thing within 10,000 miles the screens flickering the audio quit working uh they had to go in and do a bunch of work replace the screen it was over a thousand dollars warranty just for the parts and stuff so it's the technology that they're putting out and they want to give more and more and more to the customers and unfortunately it gets to a point where you can only do so much with something running all the time there's heat behind it I think what they should do, and I don't know if this is really a good idea or not because I'm not the engineer that designs this stuff, is maybe if they put like two little ports kind of angled towards the back of where these radios are and just let a small amount of AC blow on the back of it or air blow on the back of it, it could help keep some of these things cooler. But it's just so much going on with these things that eventually they're going to lock up, they're going to go bad, they're going to have to be replaced. The newer vehicles and society demanding more and more and more this is what it's this is what it's going to that's the issue and that's the fix for this particular vehicle we're going to go out here to this 2017 escape and i'm going to show you something you're not going to be able to hear me because the music is on but i put the audio audio control module and everything in i'm trying to figure out why the hell won't this thing work maybe i need to pull outside to get better signal nothing works i started to get frustrated so i got out of the customer's car and as soon as I stood up, the music came back on. Sat back down, it went off. I got up, it, went, it came back on. Off on, off on. I started pushing on the side of the seat, and it cuts the audio control module in and out as if something's grounding on the seat track. Let's go check it out. I'm going to have to pull the seat apart. Something is underneath this seat. So I'm messing around with the seat, pulling everything back, and look at this. Something's wrong with this harness underneath here. This is what uh, poor, very, very poor mechanic work is. I pulled the seat and everything up from where this thing's shifting back and forth, pull the harness off. Somebody has drilled directly into the harness. Right there. And all those metal shavings and stuff are up inside this harness. And what they did was they drilled and put those two self adapting screws there to hold the plastic underneath the vehicle up.
There they are. And that was shorting out the radio. So now when I turn the radio on. That also took out the audio control module. It grounded it out, shorted out the audio control module, and the audio control module wouldn't work. So I just took two big old dabs of silicone. I'm going to let it dry over those bolts. I'm not going to pull them out. And uh, if they go to put them back in, at least they'll be in the same spot. We'll see what happens. I put some extra insulation on the tape on this side so if it does slide over, I got it to where it won't ever really go back over there to touch the thing again. It's too tight for that. I moved it over some. So we're good there.